Hey everybody, I thought it would be fun to do a source with me video. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I have a bunch of places to stop at and I'm gonna kind of take clips and videos of what I'm looking at and what I'm purchasing as I go. Uh, my first stop is actually a, a return stop. I bought a bunch of stuff for Amazon FBA and three of the items, actually the packaging was damaged. So I'm gonna head in here, return those three items and then I think we're gonna head to a thrift store. <laughs> All right, I've already forgotten that I was filming. <laughs> so I've been to two stores now. I managed to take a few clips at the first store that I went to. I'm really funny. When I go into thrift stores, I go into like treasure hunt mode, like ultra focused. Uh, I know my route. I know the things that I want to check out and I just go. I just, I don't know. It's, it's so bizarre. Like if anybody ever wanted to go thrifting with me, I don't think I'd be very much fun because... I'm just so focused and I move so quickly through the racks. So it's really hard for me to stop and take out my camera and show you guys what I'm finding. Um, I more so do that at the end, the things that I found. So at that store, they were having 50% off shoes and dresses and accessories. So I did get a number of boots, some dresses, even though it's not the season, um, I, I buy stuff for all seasons. I sell swimsuits in the winter and parkas in the summer and it doesn't matter I will pick up anything so picked it up a bunch of stuff there then I stopped at this next one um because they do have a lot of furniture and I'm actually trying to source a desk for my daughter who I homeschool I want her to have kind of a new setup so I had high hopes that I'd have something here because I have bought furniture from them in the past but sadly there's nothing um and they don't have a ton of clothing but I did find a pair of Stuart Wiseman Wheatsman I think it's Wheatsman I should look that up uh, boots. So got one item there. I have one more thrift store I want to go to for sure. And then there's another one that I'm contemplating. So I will let you know. All right, I'm all done for today. I'm not gonna end up going to the last um, place I was thinking about because I'm really hungry and I wanna go home. But I think what I'll do is include kind of a, a thrift haul at the end of this video. I have some stuff um, from earlier this week as well that I can tack onto this video. And also I've realized that I've probably been holding my phone the wrong direction in the stores. I don't know how to remind myself to flip my phone. I swear I'm going to get better at this. Okay, so this is some of the stuff I got earlier this week along with what I got today. But uh, this is an Armani Exchange like faux leather dress that I thought was super cute. They were having 50% off dresses, so you'll see I have a number of dresses. This is Harvey Benar. It's uh, like a green dress with a belt. Holding Horses. This is the first time I found this brand. It's an anthropology brand, and this is like a kind of a maxi length dress. Found a Madewell sweater, size small. Babaton, this one is beautiful. Um, it's like a black, I think this is silk v-neck dress and it has a little clasp on it right here. Monto, this brand does really well for me. Also, just a plain black dress. The lighting is really bad down here. Sorry about that. This is a Papillon dress. Also, this brand does really well for me. I thought it was cute. It's just like a maxi dress. Oaken Fort. Just a cable knit sweater. 
This is my first Lily Pulitzer, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, uh, dress. I wasn't sure. It seemed very retro to me, but the comps look good. So I picked it up. Here, I'll show you the back a little pocket. Um, a black scuba hoodie, a kind of gray ombre scuba hoodie. This one I need to do some authentication on because it says Gucci. It's even got like the thing that the tag was on. Um, here, let's see if I can show you the inside tag with one hand. But I definitely need to do some research on this brand to uh, figure out if this is authentic or not. There's the brand or the tag there. So that was exciting. This one I picked up. You probably saw it in the video. This is Brunette the Label. This is the blonde version. Does quite well. Tallulah Babaton. This is a wool pea coat. Wilfred Free. Uh, this is an Aritzia brand. And it's a black like sweater dress. This one, I think I showed in the video as well. This is a new with tags, Lulu's dress. Uh, this brand does really, really well for dresses and it was new with tags. So I was excited about that. Another black dress. I have it on backwards. Tallulah Babaton. Just a cute black dress, a little tie. Community is also an Aritzia brand. Uh, this is a gray sweater dress. Another Aritzia Babaton. This is probably the higher end of Aritzia, the Babaton line. Another Oaken Fort. This is like a tan, almost mustard cardigan sweater. Long Tall Sally. I love picking up this brand, especially for the tall girls. I'm a tall girl myself, so whenever I find this brand, I usually pick it up. Torrid as well. This brand does really well. This is a black blazer. That's size one. Joseph Ribkoff, size 10. Again, I'm very choosy about what I'll pick up from this brand, but this was a really cute blazer. So I decided to pick it up. And then just a couple pairs of pants. Uh, Lululemon pants. No, these are Simply. The brand Simply. And the rest of them are Lululemon. So that is my haul.